on like that. And then you can adjust the ISO right up here. And the f-stop can be adjusted just like this. Now, you might have to adjust the f-stop depending on if the light changes in the room or not. <laughs> you know what? Let's just put it on automatic. You can point and shoot. How about that? Sounds good. Very good. I still don't get this. Oh, the behind the scenes stuff. People love. It's interesting. Yeah. Can you see the guy? You sure? Almost positive. Warm-ups? Yeah. Uh, East, please. Thank you. <clears throat> Make a movie? Oh, no, uh, not quite. Uh, it's a web series. Do you yeah. mind? Uh, just don't get me in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> I make promises. What's it for in your series? Uh, it's all about the weird history of L.A. L.A. Macabre. You heard of it? Nope. Oh, we're in the presence of greatness. This is our illustrious host and star, Ryan. Jamie, documentary filmmaker in training. And I'm Colin, lowly webisode director. <laughs> nice to meet you all. What was your name again? Kelly. Love it. Me too. <laughs> Thanks. Um, let me know if you guys need anything. Yeah. Love is all. No. What do you want? Just to talk. Who are you? We just introduced ourselves. Were we right? Are, are you one of them? Okay, not anymore. I'm trying really hard to get away from that. Your coffee's on me. Can you please leave? Look, we're sorry. We didn't mean to upset you. We just can wanted you, an interview you for the show. Can you get that away? Look, I don't want to mean any harm. It was really hard to get this job, and it'll be even harder keeping it. Gosh, you're right. You're right. We're, we're so sorry. Uh, we did this the wrong way. Look, uh, can we talk to you on your break? Um, you no, know, I... Please. Please. It's... Okay, my break's five. Okay. Awesome. Seriously, thank you Outside, so much. Outside, not here. It's basically like the grisly history of LA. It's, um, you know, like famous celebrities who died, things like that. Anyways, um, there's an episode about the new family, but we haven't been able to find any documentation on it. Well, so, what do you want to know? I mean, you know, just what it was like on the inside, you know, uh, how were your views versus Manson's, uh, you know, what about breaking into people's houses, I mean, anything you'll tell us, really. I mean, it was so long ago, it's not really news anymore. Well, there's kind of a cult status to it now. <laughs> you freak the fun. Yeah. Um, it's, I mean, they're all, like, the government broke it up and they're long gone, but I just, there's crazies out there, you know what I mean? I'm just, yeah, sure. I'm afraid that they're gonna see it and then, you, you know, show up on my doorstep. Mm. Uh, what if we blurred your face? Mm. We could blur your face. And then we could also distort your voice, that way you wouldn't be able to be identified. Yeah, no one will ever know it's you, I promise. I don't know, I... What if we paid you? What? What if we paid you for your time? How much? The exit is coming up. It's just a few more miles up on the right. Get off right here. No, left or right up here? Oh, um, sh uh, right, yeah. Did you mess with the settings? I got the lens wide open. Yeah, but the ISO is low to reduce grain. What? <laughs> Give me that. What happened? Just set it to automatic. Google. I think it's Avenue V. This okay. one here. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh no! I'm sorry. It's it's that way. It goes to the right. right. Yeah. So up here. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is the place. Yep, one of them. They moved a lot, but this was the last one before the raid. Yeah. Hey everyone, welcome to our special episode of LA Macabre. We've got some really big news for you. That's not really news, is it? Hey Creepers, welcome to our very special episode of LA Macabre. We've got a special guest here for you today. It's very special. It's all full of special guests, special episodes. Hey guys, welcome to a special episode of LA Macabre. This is the one we've been waiting for. We finally have a lead on the new family, a cult from the mid-2000s that modeled itself after, amongst others, the Manson family. I don't know if I like that one. Should we do it again? Yeah, five or six more should do it. Wow. Yeah, this is it. There were 
trailers, like eight of them, just kind of lined up over there. Kind of like a village with a courtyard, like circled around. All right. is pretty hidden, too. It's nice. Wow. Where do you guys want to do the interview? Okay, you said the trailers were, like, over here-ish? Mm-hmm. Let's do them where, where the trailers were. So what were Bennett's philosophies? Was he trying to start a race war with, like, Manson? Uh, no, he wasn't racist. He was more interested in a class war. You know, like, the poor rising up to take back what's theirs. What did he believe? What did he preach? Um, he believed whatever you believed, preached whatever would get you on his side. So it's safe to say that you thought he was full of shit? Yeah, he was. But how, you know, that age, how are you supposed to know? Did you feel isolated? Um, it wasn't really that simple. Um, me and my parents were a part of it since I was little, so I didn't really know anything else. So you didn't mind so much? What about if any of the members left? Did anybody leave? Um, not many. Um, maybe some of the older members. Just the older members, though? Not any of the younger ones? Or were they not allowed to leave? Um, Jody left. Um, he was younger, like 15. Friend of yours? I didn't really know him too well. I was maybe like 11. When Why he did left. he leave? <sighs> Difference of opinion, I guess. He didn't really get along with Bennett, so he just he left. He just walked out and Bennett let him go? No problem at all? Yeah. So he didn't go into the barrels? What? That was the deal, right? They had a bunch of petroleum barrels that they dumped out here, and if someone voluntarily stayed in the barrels for a few days, then they could leave, right? How did you know about that? So it's true? You said that you, you didn't know uh, about what much. is this? It's journalism. Callie, is it true they started off in the barrels? Yeah. Jesus Christ, and people did this? And then they'd leave. Leave, as, as in you never saw them again? They'd let them go. So you saw them leave? It was a private thing. So you didn't see them leave? Right, go easy. Jamie, please. Callie, were they burying people in the goddamn desert? Jesus Christ, man. Look, we're paying good money for an interview, okay? I want her to answer my questions. Not that I saw. What does that mean? It means not that I saw. But do you think that it happened? I really don't know. Did the police look for the barrels? Then it was arrested for tax fraud, not murder. Yeah, but he was investigated for murder. They just didn't find anything. Well, then there you go. That doesn't answer my question. Did the police look for the barrels? There's nothing to look for. There's no proof of what you're talking about. Fuck. Ryan, stop. Hey, can I can I get you like a drink or something? Maybe a bottle of water, maybe. Yeah, sure. Callie. All right, Callie, seriously, though. I mean, if, if you saw something as a child, I mean, like, what happened to Jody? You can tell us. Look, if you saw something, we need to tell the police, okay? Did you see something? No. Okay, but do you think that it might have happened? Fuck off. <sighs> what the hell was that, Ryan? Dude, you're gonna end this episode before it even starts. Okay, let me go try to talk to her, okay? okay. Callie. Fuck. Callie, wait. I'm sorry, but that's not the way you want me to do this, okay? You just you gotta accept it. Ryan, they're coming back. Too late to get anything else now. I got her back. I got her back. Whoa. What is that? I'm not sure. Oh no fucking shit. way. Shit. Uh can you open it? I don't know. Wait, wait, no, no. Twist it, twist it. Counterclockwise, the other way, the other yeah. way. Yeah, let, me, let me do it. Let me do it. Yeah. Let me do it. Got it.